Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on Crumpty News First at Four. I'm Tom Sherry. Welcome, everyone. I'm Mark Hanrahan. We do start with some breaking news. This afternoon, defense lawyers for the accused Freeman High School shooter want to change his plea from not guilty to not guilty by reason of insanity. Caleb Sharp was a student there at the time. So nearly four years ago, he admitted to shooting at students and staff in the Freeman High School hallway. He previously pleaded not guilty. Crumpty News' Amanda Rowley explains what this motion to change that plea means. Amanda. Is the Freeman High School shooters lawyers filed that motion on Friday in Spokane County Superior Court. It is a request to change his plea from not guilty to not guilty by reason of insanity at the time of the offense. Cornell Law School defines this type of plea as the defendant claiming they were so mentally disturbed or incapacitated at the time of the offense, they did not have the required intention to commit the crime and therefore are not guilty. According to the motion, the defense claims they were unaware of the shooter's mental status. That is, until they spoke with Dr. Craig Beaver about the progress of his forensic examination report on the suspect. Now, Dr. Beaver is a clinical neuropsychologist, and he shared his report with the defense last month with the opinion that the shooter was legally insane at the time of the offense. In a letter to the judge, Dr. Beaver says he concluded the teen met the elements of diminished capacity, but also met all criteria for insanity at the time of the offense. Now Sharp shot and killed one in a Freeman High School's hallway four years ago. As we mentioned, he previously admitted to being responsible to the shooting to investigators. Now the change of plea hearing is scheduled for Friday, August 20th. His trial, though, has been delayed for January next year. I spoke with a criminal lawyer law expert about how difficult this type of plea is to prove. I'll share that more. Creme 2 News.